Tell us what is a mental illness? I like to say is that when you look at mental illness, mm -hmm. it would be a situation where somebody's behavior is significantly different from the general accepted behavior. I think yes. it's to do with when your accepted reality yes. is significantly different from the general accepted reality. According to the Department of Health, one out of every four South Africans has or is affected by a mental illness, but only 10 to 15 percent actually get help for their disorder. I think one of the biggest problems with mental illness is the stigma. Um, mostly people don't talk about it, it's very much skeletons in the closet. And um, so people don't know they've got a problem because um, uh, it's just an unknown uh, situation, an unknown condition. Probably the worst stigma is the one that one has for oneself with that kind of illness. So besides being depressed, and I mean that is just something you don't want to wish on anyone, is feeling guilty about being depressed makes it, I, I believe, a thousand times worse. Um, I believed I was a weak person, not strong enough, that it was my fault. Um, and that was more the stigma I attached to it, that I didn't want to tell people, I felt ashamed, the shame. I would say there is a stigma attached to it, but this is the kind of, of, of initiatives that we encourage, like this morning, yes. to actually address and speak about mental wobbling, um, where employees and customers can actually um, get the necessary information mm. to, to deal with whatever they're going through. And through our employee wellness program, that can also destigmatize um, the, the issue. I think the worst thing about the stigma is employers. People don't understand, they don't want you. So, I mean, that's why people don't talk about it. They don't, it, it's going to affect their, their work, their career. From that point of view, there needs to be a lot of education and an education of employers. Although talking and sharing is vital, Suzanne Layton says there must be a multi-pronged approach to someone struggling with a mental illness. But the one thing that I do as a complementary practitioner is take um, my clients through looking at how well they're looking after themselves. Are they eating healthily and regularly? Are they sleeping well? Are they getting exercise? And are they drinking water? So it's almost like those four things are the cornerstones to creating a foundation for yourself. If you're not hydrated and um, have good nutrition and getting good sleep and exercise, you really are going to struggle. Yes, medication might help you and yes, counseling might help you, but if you do both and you do a whole lot of other things together, then um, that starts building a strength.